Hey, it's Random Code here, and today I just want to quickly showcase how you can actually manipulate and use JSON in Java. And what you might have noticed if you ever tried is that Java does actually not directly interact with JSON. So we have it as a string. Like in this case, I have a JSON string. And you can see it is a multi line string, simply containing the basic element of a very simple JSON object. To then convert this string into an actually usable Java object, we need to use an external library. And in my case, I prefer to use JSON, which is the Google supported converter, which is very commonly used. And for this project, I'm using Maven for my setup. So to add JSON to this project, I add a simple dependency. And there will be a link in the description for the code where you can also see the dependency if you want to use it yourself. But when we have the dependency added, it's actually quite, quite simple. All we need to do is we have some JSON. We then need to create a JSON object. This JSON object can then simply create it to or be used with its helper methods. For example, when we want to do it from JSON to an object, we would do JSON from JSON. We then pass this JSON string. We then need to pass which Java class do we need this JSON string to convert it into. And note our JSON object contains a name, age, phone, and city, where name and city are strings, and age of and phone are integers. We therefore need a matching Java class, which I have here, called users in this case, with a string for city and name, and an integer for age and phone. And it's a string allowing me to print it shortly to actually showcase it works. We then simply have JSON string, we have our JSON object, called JSON from JSON, pass it our JSON object, and define the user judge class. So notice it is not an instance of user, it's just a directly Connection to user using user.class. So defining is the user class. We would like to confirm. We would like to transform our JSON object into. This then returns a user object. And in my case, we can then simply print it to the console to show it it works. And we see here we end up having a user with a name, age, phone number, and city matching our JSON. So as you might notice, it's actually very simple to do this transformation and doesn't require too much setup when using a library like JSON. So if you enjoyed this quick showcase of how we can transform JSON into Java objects using the library JSON, please leave a like and subscribe and wish you all a wonderful day.